Hi everyone, Irit here with a new process video for HipKit Club and today I am using this beautiful sketch and you can find that in our member forum on Facebook if I'm not mistaken. So I basically took a good look at the sketch and what I noted was that I have that large vertical area and then the title to the left and then I put the sketch away so you can decide if you want to keep it close and keep it handy as inspiration or reference or just get a general idea and run with it so that's what I did and when I thought about that vertical element I immediately thought about this beautiful paper that we got in the October kits I'm using the October kits and I just well I love anything rainbow seriously I should probably it's like my default <laughs> go-to thing <laughs> and I could probably do that on every single page and then I tried it out. I thought, okay, white cardstock, it's nice, it's clean, it's white. And then I thought about this paper, that purple ombre from the Whimsical collection. And that made my rainbow and world complete. <laughs> and my happiness <laughs> was <laughs> um, complete. So basically I get this whole rainbow effect and I did want to mat this on a piece of white cardstock so I trimmed half an inch off each side so I would get a quarter inch uh, frame around it. I just thought it would make things look a little bit more polished and finished and yeah that that frame so that's why I decided to go with this and just look how beautiful from the dark purple to blue, turquoise, yellow, red, and then peach. Ah, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm using a bunch of photos. I really wanted to include that circular photo. I did that in a previous video, uh, but it just didn't work with the design here. So I'm not going to do that. But I used uh, these three photos of my girls and one of them is black and white. I thought that would be fun. I actually didn't know what I was going to do as I printed these photos. All I knew was that I wanted to create uh, like a, I guess, a loose or messy version of a photo strip and go with that whole vertical design idea. So that's why I decided to use three photos here and the thing that I had here is that the one photo the one that I'm trying to mat now I printed it by mistake I guess without a white border and I wanted to add some sort of border to her to it so an easy way of doing that, I mean, obviously you can use pattern paper, but I have all these Project Life cards from the Project Life kit. And I thought actually if I use a purple one, then it would be a good like repetition or connection between the purple in the background and, um, and that area of photos, which is kind of more of the on the top layers so just going to that design idea of repetition and yeah I found one of the project life cards that had some or it was basically purple but it had some pad pattern but I don't think you can really see the pattern and I added that and with the other photos I just kept it plain with a white frame of course you can add a few more layers and mat it on some um pattern papers or cardstock I think yeah I just think white works here especially because of my white frame of the entire layout so that's what I did here and I also knew you know I have the whole rainbow in my background and I'm going to add of course lots of embellishments so I tried to keep that at least uh, simple and I also used my tab punch which I absolutely love 
on one of the Project Life cards that had fall photo in it, or hashtag fall photo. So I punched that in the shape of a tab and I'm going to use that so you can totally use Project Life cards in a variety of ways, uh, not just as, you know, cards in the suitable page protector or pocket page protector. So now it's time to commit and I am gluing down my three photos and then I'm going to place my title, trying my best to get things nestled as perfectly as possible like Jen Scow taught me <laughs> in her videos. <laughs> you gotta nestle those letters. So here we are and I just placed a few uh, flowers. I'm trying to kind of do this tone on tone thing. So that helps me with choosing which flowers go where and I think it just looks beautiful. So this is the floral pack from the Paige Evans Whimsical Collection. I'll have two more of those. Thank you. I could use them on every layout. I love it when American Crafts or Crate Paper do that and give us an entire pack of florals. I think for those of us who like florals, it's always kind of sad when you have in the regular ephemera packs only, you know, three or four pieces. Those are the ones I always, always use, the first ones I go to. So for me, it's like a no-brainer. If there's a pack with florals, that's what I want and that's what I'll be happy <laughs> using. So basically my main elements are here, although that's not um, exactly accurate because I am going to keep on layering. And I think from here it really starts to become more about the small details. And I think at the end it's, it's the small details that make a page look interesting and yeah, just just like interesting to look at the different elements and how they come together. So basically here I'm trying to do, I felt like I wanted another little floral cluster at the top um, left corner of my title. I, I felt it needed that to kind of bring everything together and not just to have these two disconnected areas, one with all the photos and the flowers and then the other one with just the title. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm going to fuss with it a little bit. I think most of it I kept on camera, maybe a few more minutes I did off camera, but that's basically what I'm going to do that in that area. Now I wanted to add this little journaling spot. I love these. These are so cute and especially when you have such a busy background, it's sometimes hard to find a good place to place your journaling. Now I'm not much of a storyteller, so this is very short, but basically also, I mean, yes, I could go on and on about their relationship, my two girls, but this was just, we were out for the day and they were just cute and I took some photos of them. That day actually turned out to be quite exhausting. Um, I don't know when was the last time you went to a restaurant with small kids, but we met some friends. They have two small kids and it was challenging, especially when you go to a restaurant that really takes its time with like bringing the food and everything. So we've had, I don't know how many meltdowns, like my kids, her kids, like their kids, then our kids and their kids. Uh, eventually we managed to eat something and get the heck out of there. <laughs> so yeah, um, but that was just, it's, it's not connected. So here I just started to go a bit embellishment crazy. And for me, this was just fun, like using all these beautiful, beautiful embellishments from the Whimsical collection. I was just enjoying it. And that collection has several bits and pieces with like a rainbow look to it. So I tried to use as, ma as many as I could on this layout just to echo that whole design. And I think, you know, you run the risk of going a little bit too far with it, but I actually like how it looks. And I think because they are pretty small. So for example, that little scalloped border sticker that I have there um, below my 
uh, bottom photo. I think it looks super cute. So maybe for you it's a little bit too busy and in that case I would say if you're going with a background, rainbow background, then keep the rest quite simple. But if you're like me and you can't have too much of a good thing like rainbows, then here's your chance to go all out. Um, I also, I layered my little journaling spot, which is from the Vicky Butin ephemera pack. I layered it on one of the flowers that kind of matched the colors in that area. And I really like how that looks. So kind of echoing the flowers in the other areas and um, still giving a little bit more detail to my journaling spot, helping it uh, pop and look uh, interesting. It's just an interesting edge to that flower. So I definitely want some purple, some purple flower there um, next to my title. And as I said, I'm going to fuss a little bit with that area, but you will see how it turned out in the finishing uh, shots of this. So I added some more um, puffy stickers, the date, and that's basically it. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you feel inspired to try something similar. Make sure you check the other versions of the sketch and I will see you actually tomorrow with another Hip Kit Club video. Thanks for watching. Bye.